time for a back day. And I can residually still kind of feel a little bit of soreness in my lats, especially from the last back day that I did. So that might be a little cue for me to maybe, you know, maybe make today a little bit more upper back focus potentially, but I don't mind a little, you know, I'm not gonna say, oh, well, there's no way I can do back today. And my lats still feel a little bit fatigued from the last lift. It's uh, it would be different if it were, you know, a normally routine workout, but since I hadn't done back for like a month or so ish, maybe a little, I don't know, at least a few weeks off to have come back and hit it, I would expect a little bit of extra soreness, but that's, I'm uh, I'm sure there'd be a debate to be had there because typically I'm gonna say if whatever muscle you're about to train on that specific day is still sore from the last workout that you did, you know, typically I'm gonna say, okay, probably give it another day. It's not gonna be particularly beneficial to, you know, just spam it when it's already under recovered. You know, just give it one more and then come back stronger the next day. But, you know, on the opposite side of that kind of a uh, kind of coin of opinion, sure, I mean, I might feel my lats a little bit right now, but it's not that bad. <laughs> 